Two of Britain's biggest punchers go at it this weekend over in the O2 in London as Joe the Juggernaut Joyce takes on Derek Chisora this Saturday night over in the English capital. Joe Joyce comes into this one as the prohibitive minus 440 favourite right now, as high as minus 475 at some of the major books as well, with Derek Chisora coming back at a plus 350 in this one. Uh, I've already bet this fight uh, at the opener. The line opened up at minus 350 on Joe Joyce, and I thought that was... A bit too low personally. Um, we started to see the line correct itself over the last few weeks with that four minus four forty current line right now, but still I think it's got a bit more to go um before we hear the opening bell in this one. Outside of that straight play on Joe Joyce, though, I want to cover some of the other props uh I'm on for this fight. Uh, before I get into those and a best bet as well, I just want to remind everyone that we're less than three weeks away from the start of the new EPL season. Uh, for the upcoming year, myself and Nick Borman have teamed up to offer a two-for-one all-plays package for the entire season. That's every single selection. Myself and Nick release all plays, every 5% release as well, right through until May 2025 for half price, basically. So get on board that. We both had outstanding seasons in the EPL last year. I was the EPL totals profit leader on the season as a whole, and Nick's been number one in soccer since May 3rd as well. So great time to jump on board. And keep cashing those tickets in the EPL. Returning to the best bet for this fight though. And look. It's an interesting fight from a time frame perspective for me. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind. That if this fight had to be made 18 months ago. Uh, let's say around December 2022. January 2023. Um, right after both Derek Chisora's one side of beating at the hands of Tyson Fury. And Joe Joyce's destruction. Of a very good Joseph Parker just a couple of months earlier. A win that's aged extremely well considering what Joseph Parker has gone on to do. This line would be at least, you know, at minimum a minus 1,000 on Joe Joyce in my opinion. Joe Joyce was seen in a completely different light back then. And as I said, it's only 18 months ago. Uh, I remember multiple people saying at the time he would beat Anthony Joshua. Knowledgeable people as well. Uh, Joshua coming off back-to-back -back defeats against Alexander Uzik. Also didn't look particularly great against Jermaine Franklin either. Um, and we've got to remember too that Tyson Fury went off as a minus 2,500 in that third fight against Derek Chisora. Um, that's the fight where Joe Joyce went up on the ring apron after the fight alongside Tyson Fury and Alexander Uzik talking about the big three in the division. So that's where he was at right then. You know, to go from that to 18 months later, where everyone's saying now that, you know, Joe Joyce is washed, his punch resistance is gone, um, you know, and release an open line of just minus 350 here, I think that's far too much of an overreaction in my eyes. You know, there's two schools of thought ahead of this fight, basically. One says, just like I, you know, just mentioned that Joe Joyce is washed, he took two hellacious beatings of Zilli Zhang across 2023. And that showed in his last fight against Cash Ali as well, where. You know, he looked far from impressive in that one. Uh, many people suggesting that Zhang kind of took Joyce's soul uh, last year and he's never quite looked the same since. Uh, you know, his confidence, you know, looks a bit shot. Um, the other school of thought, which I'm much more in line with, is that Zilli Zhang was just a terrible style matchup for Joe Joyce. You know, I released a preview best bet for that fight early last year. Taking Zilli Zhang to win by knockout, at 12 to 1 in that one. Thankfully, YouTube keeps receipts, so you guys can go back and check that out if you feel inclined. And look, that was down to a combination of factors. You know, Zhang being vastly underrated ahead of that fight, his left hand being one of the most dominant punches in the entire sport as well. And the whole, you know, Joe Joyce juggernaut thing was being taken far too far by the media and public alike. You know, he can walk through anything, he's the juggernaut, the kid, you know, they can't even land a dent in him and so on. And you know, I made the case in that video that if you think you're going to be eating flush left hands, I don't care how good your chin is, of a guy who hits as hard as Big Bang Zhang does, you know, it's going to end very badly for you. And that's exactly what happened to Joe Joyce. You know, he seemed to be believing his own press clippings a little bit too much ahead of that fight. You know, his own invulnerability, so to speak. And at the end of the day, it was just a terrible style matchup for Joyce. I'm actually shocked the people advising him couldn't see that either and put him in for another beating. Uh, just a few months later against Zhang. But, you know, that's not the case here. You know, Derek Chisora has one mode in fights. Uh, and that's war. Pretty much from the start of the start of the fight. You know, he'll come at you with a direct line from the opening bell. He looked to start winging in big hooks from the outset. Which, 
you know, in fairness to him, he is pretty proficient at that. You know, Alexander Usyk said in a very recent interview that the hardest he's ever been hit in the ring was against Derek Chisora. We've got to remember, you know, Usyk is a fighter who's faced the best in the sport. Uh, he's, he's faced Joe Joyce previously as well in the semi-amateur ranks of the World Series of Boxing. He's faced Anthony Joshua twice, Murak Gassiev as well. So he's been in there with some pretty heavy punchers before. So that is a bold statement to make on Chisora being the hardest. But... You know, it's not without justification. You know, Chisora gave Usyk absolute hell for those first two rounds in their fight. Not only that, but he put Joseph Parker down in round one of their first fight as well. Actually, about the first ten seconds of that fight, he went straight at Parker. Um, and he almost took Arthur Spilka's head off as well in round two of their fight. So Derek Chisora is extremely dangerous early on in fights. He fights low. He starts winging in those big hooks upstairs. Um, which, until opponents get the timing off, can catch them off guard. Uh, and as a result, you know, the Derek Chisora to win in rounds 1-2 to two prop in this fight is going off a plus 4,000 right now. And is a prop I'm on for hedging purposes here. But look, if this fight enters round 3, and again, just my opinion, uh, Derek Chisora starts slowing down, breathing through his mouth as he is wanting to do now in fights. You know, Chisora is north of 40 years old right now. This fight is over, in my opinion. You know, Chisora was taking an almighty beating off Tyson Fury in that third fight. And if he starts taking that same kind of punishment here against a fighter vastly more heavy-handed than Joe Joyce, it could end very badly for him. Um, I would actually argue he's never been in there with a guy who hits as concussively hard as Joe Joyce does. Dillian White can crack, certainly. David Hay, you know, was a lightning one-punch KO artist as well. Vitaly Klitschko could bang. But in terms of sustained... Blunt force trauma type power. I think he's going to be in for a rude awakening here against Joe Joyce this weekend. And especially where he's at in his career right now as well. You know, at 40 plus. You know, four losses in his last six fights also. He simply doesn't have the defense or stamina necessary to ward off those heavy punches from Joyce in this one. And as a result, I do believe we will see a fairly brutal stoppage in this one. Um, as I said back at the start, I took Joe Joyce straight up on this one when the line first opened. I'd be surprised if it doesn't climb even higher by fight time as well. And, you know, I covered myself with that half unit in Chisora rounds 1-2 or 4-1 to one, just in case the unthinkable happens. But in terms of a main prop bet for this fight, Joe Joyce to win inside rounds 5-8 to eight is going off a plus 200 right now. And I really like that. You know, Joe Joyce is a relentless machine once he starts to get going in fights. Go back to the Carlos Tackham fight, who... You know, as a similar style to Derek Chisora in many ways. You know, he was brutally beaten down in that one. The Bermain Stavorn fight as well. Joseph Parker, Daniel Dubois. Um, you know, so once Joe gets into that groove of breaking you down with that pile driver job, landing heavy shots in the inside, it's over unless you can find a way to keep him off you, which I don't think Chisora will be able to do, you know, in the mid-rounds of this fight. So I'd be extremely surprised if Derek Chisora can make it to the start of the ninth round here, given... Both what he's up against in the power department with Joyce and his own defensive liabilities as well. So Joe Joe Joyce for me to win this one on Saturday. I think this is a great fight for him stylistically. He won't have to go looking for Derek Chisora in this fight whatsoever. And that rounds 5 to 8 prop stands out like a beacon as well. You know, Joe Joyce has a 93.8% KO percentage across his career so far. And an awful lot of those have come during those mid-rounds as well. You know, Christian Hammer... Carlos Tack and Bermain Stavern and so on. And I think it's got a pretty good shot to land once again this weekend. So, Joe Joyce to win in rounds 5 to 8. A plus 200 this Saturday night over in London. Best bet. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Can Joe Joyce get back into title contention with a big stoppage victory this weekend? Or, you know, maybe I'm wrong on this. Maybe Derek Tesori can potentially pull off one. Last big scalp before he hangs them up in the very near future. He's certainly talking a big game in the press conference let me know down below and as always don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so it's very much appreciated until next time sana best of luck on all your bets